the which we were watching the video then that time i was really thinking about that how i have to blend my <laughs> talk with this subject and definitely what um, being a plant pathologist as well as an agriculture scientist um, we are more concerned about the climate change and i think um, with the i would really thank aqua foundation who gave me this chance to this platform that where i can come and, and say few words about uh, Uh, related to climate change though i have we have our very senior professor here also and uh, why i have taken this subject was because i was very much interested that we uh, at the platform of aqua foundation we can really work for something which is because water is very much related to agriculture and we start Uh, uh speaking or uh, uh, coming out with some sessions where agriculture can very well be taken care of by this foundation so i think it, it is because of this they gave me this chance and today i just want to say that climate change it is destroying our path to sustainability ours is a world of looming challenges and increasingly limited sources sustainable development offers the best chance to adjust our course so this was a lines spoken by ban ki moon secretary general you know so keeping his lines in view and uh, i'm just taking one uh, subject that is how climate change is actually uh, making an impact on the disease management since it is not the human beings who are suffering from the diseases it is a crops also which are suffering from the diseases and the climate change has brought a big uh, tremendous change in that also so uh, keeping in uh, view the timings i will follow the timings it, it is 15 minutes so um uh, okay now uh, historically arinis was the first who calculated the warming power of excess co2 and in icr we have a national initiative on climate resilient agriculture which is a network project of icr so keeping in view that uh, the crops are suffering from in, uh, problems of environment pathogen and host that is a pathogen is that the which the ones which are causing the diseases so there are various diseases like we trust and late blight of potato like potato crops are suffering downy mildew of uh, grapes rice plus these are the some of the very very important diseases which are due to the impact of the climate change and here i what i really want to stress upon is that which are the real drivers of the climate change which are causing the uh, problem on the crops and that is the changes in temperature shift in precipitation pattern elevation in co2 level and increase in the uv radiation so these are the some very very important factors which a plant pathologist who oh, they have to take care of and uh, which are those factors which they are making an impact uh, definitely health agriculture forest water resources coastal areas species and the natural areas that is so we can just uh, 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 talk about that which are those factors in agriculture where the climate change is making an impact so it is a increasing potential of the crop yields in selected countries then there is a loss of agricultural lands due to the sea level rise there is a delay in current cropping schedule when we are coming to the water resources it is a increasing population under water stress increased water runoff and decreased quality of aquifer and the ground water resources so and if we come to the forest and ecosystem and health and extreme weather events there are many parameters which are being suffering because of the uh, because of this increased and the climate change so what is that basically climate change i think you all are very much aware of it and if we really see what are the basic climate change factors which are causing the problems in the plant system so if we just see that there are different types of climatic regions which a crop has to face a plant system has to face so when we come to microclimate microclimate is a very important aspect beside talking about the microclimate where the effect is on the genome the cellular processes the physiology of the plant and the host pathogen interactions and these are the very important parameters which is actually due to the microclimate when we come to the microclimate local climate then we find that there is a uh, effect on the intra population dynamics and host pathogen interactions so where host like for example a wheat crop which is suffering from a particular disease so it will have a impact on that interaction that interaction is affected actually it is similar to the what what is a uh, human body is facing similar the crops are facing and intra population dynamics so these all these parameters are being affected due to the uh, due to the microclimate local climate then local climate how the disease develop so we have to really take care of the 
uh, host resistance that we have to take care of the crops. We have to take care of the physiology with the host pathogen interaction. We have to take care that how the chemical pesticides have to be used. And they have to be in particular, especially in the increasing temperature, we have to be very careful that what systems we should use that we can make the modification in the management system. Now, as you see that there is a micro, there is an increase in the mycotoxin levels also. And these mycotoxin levels are definitely in very, very important crops like in groundnut. Then there is a change in the vector system. Vector is the carrier of the disease. So these vectors are also being affected by the climates. So we have to overall look all these factors and then take care of the plant disease management. And what are those strategies? So we need to take care where the chemicals actually are take, uh, leads uh, which are polluting the environment. So we have to be very, very much, and if, uh, the talk nowadays which is very important that is organic farming organic farming has become a very important because of this reason only because this are uh, we are uh, having a lot of other technologies simple technologies which can be very effective in this in this particular era now we need to adopt some strategies like these strategies may be like for example biological control biological control is another very important strategy where we are trying to use the microbials and the biofertilizer and the biofert pesticides they are the very important actually the microbial agents which are being used in the agriculture now we have to be really careful while using these and we have to be very careful when also developing the strategies we can take one of these components as the uh, component where the in agriculture where the climate change uh, has an impact also and because microbes are also equally affected by this thing then chemical control also I have already said then there is another parameter that is a quarantine quarantine is one of the very effective uh, very effective way of where we know that prevention is better than cure here we need to have very effective diagnostic tools where we can detect and see and monitor the behavior of the pathogens which are causing the diseases and we need to develop at a global level actually whatever now we do is have to be very interactive very integrated and all the factors it is not only the chemicals along with the biologicals as well as the cultural practices as well as the pre uh, methods which are preventing the disease we need to integrate and then come out with the strategies including the field monitoring and the disease forecasting because disease forecasting is a very another important fact which can help us to actually to inform the farmers in time that look the disease is going to come because of these particular climatic fe um, features because suppose there is a rise in temperature there is a cloudy day now we know that a particular disease in potato is going to come so ultimately what i conclude here is that all these uh, factors which are whether it is a change in temperature whether it is a change in precipitation regimes whether it is the elevated uh, carbon dioxide or altered temperatures we need to have the disease management strategies we require the adjustment and these adjustments are the actually the changes which our organic farming is one of that so what we can do is we can make some emphasis on the shift from the impact assessment and we can go develop the some of the adaptation and the mitigation strategies based on the climate change then we can also have the information about the dynamics and evolution now late uh, latest like some of the very like one of our societies i'm also working we are working on that monitoring and developing the strategies of the crop disease we are going for the global survey so we are uh, surveying the at the global level which particular disease is coming at what time of regime so different since our country is full of different agro ecosystems i think this country in this country we have to really go for such type of uh, uh, technologies and where we can really, uh, since water is a very important aspect, and keeping that in, in the view, we can really go for such management. So there can be no plan B, so think globally and act globally. So what we are doing is that earth is not dying, it is being killed, and the people who are killing it have names and addresses. So we all know that this has been spoken very well by many of the authors and many of the speakers. And here at this uh, platform, what my uh, conclusion is that we need to have uh, have an uh, integrated approach wherein we can really work on the how the uh, water uh, water means when we are saying the lack of the water i had uh, since last year also we had a discussion here when we were saying that in faridabad or in many of the places since one of our 
a uh, speaker has shown just how the uh, gray water and dark water he has tried to this thing we also see as an agriculture scientist i think this is a platform where we can also have one of the uh, one of the sessions or maybe we can have one of the brainstorming sessions which are related to the agriculture and the water system and again i am thanking to the uh, organizers as well as i thank the chairman to give me the time and allow me to speak at this platform thank you very much